Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, today we're going to talk about Bounty 48, I guess. And um, and maybe about um, uh, Base Force, at least in theory. Uh, unless somebody out there is uh, able to hit it. You know, I, was, I was trying to get somebody on to demo it that's doing a mastery round for a little over an hour. And I wanted them to demo it, but um, that doesn't appear to be, may happen, but doesn't appear to be happening right now. Maybe Friday, but maybe not. So let's say hello to Derpy. Well, hello. Everyone's feeling pretty today. Yeah. No Yoda impression or Scottish impression? <laughs> no, nope. <laughs> okay. No, no Greta impression? <laughs> Just for Lego. <laughs> I'm not going to try that one. All righty. Okay. All right. Well, let's move ahead to the slides then. Oh, wait. That's me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's see. Well, same bug fixes as earlier in the week. Um, yeah, no, no. This is a different one. Uh, fixed, a, fixed a bug where, well, the same one that they announced uh, in the updates. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Fixed a bug where the weapon arcs were five degrees larger than they should have been. So I don't know what that what that means. In, in yeah, that means. It, it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense how it's how it's. Yeah, I don't know if the numbers were five degrees too large or the the, the, the turret was actually working right, but mm -hmm. it was showing five degrees more to the right than it should have. So. Okay. Does that make sense? Like it was, it was displaying too large, but it was working as intended. So. Okay, so it followed the stat block, but the visual was. Yeah, the visual was wrong. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Um. So, and that was, uh, for all weapon arcs or just specific? Probably. I'll bet you if I bring out my my flagship pair, where it won't be a full circle now. But that was definitely for turrets. Well, what about the, uh, uh, what was the, the spinning one? Yeah, the Harrower, or the whatever, Harbinger. Harbinger, Harbinger, yeah, yeah. Okay. All righty. Um, so there we go on that. And uh, uh, just to follow up, in case anybody missed it, the next uh, ship we get in the next raid, which I think is going to be the 13th, uh, we ha we'll get the Swallowtail Carrier. Um, and we've had the discussion UAV or not UAV. Uh, I mean, I think our consensus has been special UAV weapon missile standard. Um, yeah, it could go either way. I mean, I mean, because the name of, you know, we have carrier, which we all think means UAV. And then we have swallowtail, which is butterfly that fly, you know, something that flies. So there's definitely going to be a UAV component, whether it's all across the board or, just you know a special weapon um we will have to see because it, it seems like uh considering all the problems they've had with uavs and chaining and you know whatnot it seems like a much more difficult weapon to tune for i'm surprised they they went uh, it seems like a bold move to go with the uh uh a uav ship again well i mean the unknown's part of the fun yeah, <laughs> or what was it? I forget what Chris's uh, thing was. Okay, we got one more. Um, Derpy at Derpy's request, um, we find out that the Swallowtail has four armor slots, so that basically means we have four weeks before the release of the Swallowtail as far as FM. So we are able to get six each week. So that's going to require us to get. Um, that would allow us to get twenty. I mean, sorry, 24. We need to get 20. So the week of pillage, uh, the week before the raid, um, you if you're going and getting six each time, you will only need to get two during pillage. And that's the strategy I'm going for because we need to use our lionfish uh, at the same time. So this would be a much lower ask, um, the week of pillage in, in the FM. So therefore, you know, you need to do like a third of what you would normally do in the FM if you collect all six each week. Well, uh, whoever's been playing on my account forgot to redeem the uh, armors, this Forsaken mission, so I don't think I have any. 
that's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> I see. I so, had the points. I just forgot to redeem them. Well, maybe you can file a ticket. No, they'll just tell me to my computer. Okay. All righty. All right. Well, let's uh, move on. And yeah, whoever's playing your account, I would uh, I would dock their pay for the week. I would. I would. I think they need to be fired. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. We are in Bounty 48 right now. Um, and yeah, so, uh, uh, where's, where's Pillage? Oh, it's September. It's going to be in October. Yeah. But there's also a Pillage at the start of September, which is interesting. And this raid is actually on the on the first Wednesday of the month. You see that? Um, well, is it the first Wednesday? I have to check my calendar. Wait. But, but this is stuff that's already passed. You're looking okay. back. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, I see. We're, 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 on stat, we're on block three uh, with Bounty uh, 48 and then Perilous Blade TLC, uh, which is for your Damocles. And we have a slide for that. And... Um, then we have a uh, Greater of Evils, a, uh, a skin event, and then we're going to have Pillage the following week, and then we should have the raid for the Swallowtail the week after that. So, yep. So. But hey, we don't even know what's happening two weeks out. So, yeah, whatever. Well, the good thing is Drake has been upgrading or updating the calendar with changes. So if you go back to the original, if you think about it, you know, think to do it, there has been updates, you know, with the last one, I think was the base force DLC getting extended for an additional week to make it two, uh, two weeks. So, alrighty, um, let's move on. Uh, Perilous Blade um, going on this week. Um, you could use your Reclaimer or your Damocles. Um, Basically, the bonus here is the uh, if you're basically caught up, the build tokens and upgrade tokens. Eight build, five upgrade. Um, otherwise, if you're way behind, there's plenty of tech in there for you to uh, grab to build your Damocles at this point, which I don't know, Derpy, Derpy would probably be uh, against, right? No, you can totally upgrade your Damocles. No, 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 start building them if you needed the tech. If you needed to start building them right now, yeah. you're kind of out of luck, but whatever. Yeah. I don't even have my fifth one built, so I'm using these eight tokens to do half, half of that at least. So, okay. um, But this is, I recall this was being a fairly reasonable one. I mean, could we like auto the whole thing? Um, I thought we could. I remember this. Being I, no, no, no. I think you could, you could drive, you, you could auto the, you could auto the whole thing. I think I drove it, but it was very, you know, I was getting multiples done on a single, uh, uh, sea serpent with the damage. Uh, well, not with the Damocles, with the reclaimer. I haven't tried it with the Damocles. So that'll be, uh, interesting to see how that works out. I'll try it in, I guess, two days. I'm upgrading my, upgrading my, uh, my Damocles flag at the moment. So, yeah, I'm actually doing that as well. So, uh, um, I've got a few days on that. Whoops. Uh, what's wrong ones? Start saving ship tokens next week, then. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can spend this week's easily. easily. Um, do we actually have another week? I think. Well, let's see. No. I think we have an additional week because we have no, greater evils next week and then. Pillage. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can spend this week's, and then save next week's and the following weeks because you'll have right. uh, save the FM starting on the 29th then the sixth. Yeah. So yeah, you can spend this week if you got things to spend them on. Um, alrighty. Um, all right. Base Force, uh, um, again, I, I threw it out there. Um, if anybody's able to do a mastery round, want to demo a mastery round, and you're getting it done for significantly less than what we've seen, be happy to uh, just let me know in the chat, and I'll, I'll toss you a link to join. Because um, I'm seeing people, they're using 
not a rocket, not a uh, bunker buster on each round, but a couple bunker busters during the advance. And then they appear to be tanking, switching their tanks for everything. You know, they're tanking, you know, have somebody leading for the halo and then you switch and you got somebody leading for the, for the mongoose, just constantly switching tanks. So you only take the damage on the one ship for the, uh, the splash involved with the two of those. So yeah, I guess in theory, if you had five ships and you only have one being shot at ever, you take a fifth of the damage. So yeah, I, I will say I've been, I did one earlier today. I drove the encounter up to the halo is dead, then pressed auto. And that actually worked pretty well, even with my half built flagship. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Say one more time. You did what with your half I built? I drove everything up until I killed the halo, got to the middle of the island, then I yeah. pressed S. And it worked. Mm -hmm. I, I got through without losing the flag. Okay. Well, that's good. So, yeah, it's give another week to do it. I have a few encounters left here. Yeah, for me personally, I mean, I don't really need anything until five, and then I'm all I want is the the, uh, the three day defense platform build tokens. The rest yeah, of it, I don't really. I don't really have any interest in, so I'm just sort of wondering: Do I go through all of that, uh, including, you know, building rockets or repairing, you know, basically killing the fleet and then having that interfere with other repairs? I, I don't know if I'm motivated to do it at this point, unless you know, I can slash the damage way down. Um, yeah, I'm going straight to the halo where possible and working my way back. But what what kind of damage are you getting, Cat? And, um, okay. Um, all right. If we're, uh, I'll tell you my method. I got six hours earlier doing what I told you just now. So, okay. Yeah. The flag helps. Yeah, the flag helped, but we, we saw early on where I thought he was doing a great job driving was uh, Apex Predator, Jerry Gramers, whatever. He was, I thought he was doing a really good job driving. He had ranked ships, he had the flag, and um, he was still getting, uh, you know, five and a half hours of damage. So it's sort of frustrating. Uh, it feels like the halo is way overpowered and they need to scale it down um, because it seems where people are getting most of the uh, advantages, bunker busting the halo at the start of it and then not having to worry about tanking anything except for the mongooses and really getting their damage down that way. So. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. We ran through it some last week and, yeah, 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 but two hours per. It's doable. It's rough. It's doable. Yeah, but two hours per rocket, and it, you know, with the our uh, capacity of our launch our launch pad, I mean, you know, it's ten hours to fill it up, and you're filled up, and you don't have any other rockets, and if you're going to rocket every one, that requires you to spend ten hours in between. So, yeah, it's interesting for sure. Well, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, and I've seen that complaint. Um, um, Pegleg had that complaint that they can't rocket the Halo half the time. Um, and then we had other people last week also saying on some of the last encounters, you couldn't, it appeared just the the, uh, the bunker buster was missing. Um, not that you were doing partial damage, that you were doing no damage. So, um, one second, see if I have my... Um, well, my launch pad is upgrading, so let me go over here. Um, it has a, the 5 has a splash of 12. So it seems like it would be hard to miss. What do you think? I mean, the, the 6 yeah, the next yeah, generation has a well. splash of 2, which maybe I could see you missing, but a splash of 12... It seems like it would be difficult to miss unless there's some bug in the game that's causing that. Mm -hmm. So uh, KB did about a half the fleet with a demo. Okay, so that's about what uh, Derpy was getting. 
So yeah, roughly. He did a bit better. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess we can move on. Uh, it doesn't work now, so no point wasting my time building it. So I don't know if they're changing it or there's something that we're missing. Um. So. All right, we have Bounty 48. Uh, you have to really uh, squint your eyes and go to full screen because it's getting harder and harder to find Bounty. It's all the way down at the scale of 1 to 48. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for 49. Hopefully there's some sort of rum or something that has a 49% alcohol. So you we find have... a, a 48 pack of paper towels? <sighs> no, that's, it's pretty big. I mean, a 48 pack of paper towels is, uh, you, you know, you'd have to have at least an SUV or a pickup truck to get that home. I'm assuming. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, let's uh, move on. All right. It's the same target structure that we've seen. Um, I guess you haven't hit any of the targets yet, Derpy. That's correct. Although I can uh, load up a fleet and go find something, something to hit. Okay. Uh, anybody out there in chat found any sort of sweet spot as far as uh, points versus damage versus time? Um, well, Derpy's uh, give maybe Derpy a potential uh. Good target for everybody. I'll bet you some are real similar to last time. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. I was going to ask if you wanted to go through the, but we can do it this way. Yeah. Just give me a second here. Um, 74 is our map repair, and they're in the uh, the Powder Monkey category, I assume? Yeah, that sounds right to me. You ready? Uh, well, my target despawns, so not quite. But you're ready to put you on screen? Yep. Okay. All righty. Okay, this is the one level 158. It's a captain level target. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, the middle target. If I remember, should be the same as it has been. Yep, looks the same. Um, so it's a high level. Okay, it's a high level. It's, yeah, it's, it's 3,000 to 4,000. But it's also pretty doable. And I don't see any uh, iron hides in here. You don't, because this is the designer who. Uh, is not working on battle parts and hasn't been for a few months. And okay. the space is still hard enough to keep it in here. Okay. What I do with this, I usually take two abominations, run it through the channel, park them right here. And two mm -hmm. abominations, one will die, the other will be almost dead. It can mostly kill stuff. Um, although, the interesting thing is this guy, I don't have two in this fleet at the exact moment. And the abomination does really well against these corrosive stuff. The exterminator is very poorly. The sky sabers in here. I don't know what. Maybe a little bit of support, um, just because they. I don't have that second. I don't have that second uh, abomination in the particular fleet right now. And I should probably send a few of these guys around the outside because that's important. So there's a few mines. There are a lot of mines right here. So this guy is going to die. Ship five. Mm -hmm. He's going to die here coming up. And I'll try and get this sky saber parked right behind it, shooting at the short range turrets that are actually going to do some damage. So, and that abomination has the tier 10 armor. So it should repair in like eight minutes. Okay. That's not bad. So this, this is just hidden as far close to all the short range turrets as possible and shouldn't take too much damage from anything else. Uh, it's better to have two abominations, I think, but yeah, and just some of this. 
Okay. So this gets you three to four thousand points for total or of roughly 10, 15 minutes of actual time spent repairing. Okay. In dock, you know, type of stuff. So yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Five, ten minutes in dock plus the instant five minutes speed up. Or it's one coin. Maybe two. Yeah, this doesn't do enough damage. What doesn't do a uh... my my sky saber doesn't do enough damage here to get these things down quickly. Okay. So if I rush him with an exterminator, it's gonna get hit by a lot of this corrosive stuff. <laughs> Well, it's not too bad, actually. You just don't want to die here, because then all these mines are back. Okay, so you're not... Um, you didn't want to push through? I guess you're within the uh, uh, the blind the spot. Zone, nothing's, nothing's doing damage to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, except for when the exterminator pulled up. Yeah, yeah. and that's... I don't know. I have some non-optimal armor on there for repairs. With the uh, uh, evade armor? Yep. Yeah. This, well, we, we could go find one too that actually has the new turrets in there and see how bad those are. Yeah, I'd like to see them um, on the slides first, or, or here. Um, either way, I mean, because you know what I'm going to see on, see on the slides is like, why isn't this stat block making sense? But if we see them in an action, then we could, you know, line it up and make that stat block make sense. Because there's certain parts of it that don't really uh, make sense, especially the damage emitter part of it, and. Um, I've been told it's a, they last for six seconds. Uh, the ones that do negative four million damage per second. Um, this is this is seventeen minute repair on two okay. ships. Like that's not bad. So you can't do anything in a row. Well, unless you had a, uh, an extra abomination. Yeah, which I actually have a few. So just swap them out and. Yep, they're all built different. So. This one's going to have a lot longer repair time. Unless you want to switch over to uh, the slides so you can repair stuff. If oh, that I'll, makes be, sense. I'll be repaired. Okay. 10 seconds. Okay. Now, I don't even know if some have the new turret, but I assume they do. So what uh, target are you pursuing? I don't know. I figure it will be in one of the higher level captain ones. Okay. It's kind of just guessing because the targets might be the same, might be different, might have the same level, might be different. In the past, they've had two level 160s, which is super confusing. Yeah. All right. This one doesn't have any of the new stuff that I see on this island. Yeah, because it's got a firing arc of 8%, so it should stick out as being the narrowest that we've seen so far. So that was the 166. That was 5, 165. Oh, 165, okay. I 
I'd be surprised if they don't have it in. Yeah, yeah. At least somebody. What what number is half Centaur's base at this point? He usually throws in the now, newest. It changes stuff. so much, and you, there's no real good way to know. There is. Let Might me, be the, well, I have to go look at all of them. I mean, that's... That, no, no, no. Well, let me see. It's uh, a good alliances, browse... D definitely not was it definitely not D N K what what's our alliance? So his says level 112, so this is not true. I mean there's no 112. Okay, okay. DNKIX. Like they're okay. that used to work and doesn't. So. Okay. It's been a while since I've been paying attention to them, so yeah. And as soon as you enter, you're instantly fired up by about 17 different things, which is super annoying. Like, why am I take? I can't even pick the target. Like, that's kind of rude, isn't it? No, no new, no new stuff. I guess for those participating in bounty, we shouldn't request the, uh, uh, the new, uh, new turret just to, so we can see what it looks like but and maybe I can steal this guy's target there we go this is half center I think this is one oh he's got the new stuff that looks yeah, good yeah. so that's a one it's blocked on my. You know. That's 162, I think. I can't see. Okay. I can't yeah, I either. Yeah. But, okay, as soon as you enter that channel, there should be stuff happening. Right? E oh, so it's these black things. Okay. I so, can't even see any projectiles. Okay, so they last for six seconds and they're doing, and according to the uh, stat block, they're doing fill, four million per second that you're in there. <clears throat> Is it four million per second? I thought it was well, much less than that. I thought it was like four million over seven. I thought it was four million well, over six seconds. Oh, we'll second. get to that. We'll get to that as far as what you know, like the stat block. See, this guy's got a fleet of five sky sabers. They're shooting at this turret. It's do it's absolutely zero damage is being done to it because there's you've got these two iron hides. You can't kill stuff. He's just gonna lose his fleet and half the target. So these are set up interestingly, like it's it's in range of that whole entry channel there. Yeah, I thought. Well, we'll get to that one. You know, I was thinking that you set it up right before a um, a portal. Yeah, but what if you can have? I'd have them right here in a long channel this way. Yeah, because it has a high uh, high projectile speed. The telegraph reload is one, so it's really depends on. You know, I guess it, could, it probably could work either way because my my fear with that eight percent range or arc is like even if you made him cross go across it several times, uh, it probably would never fire because it was able to get through unless it was stuck there on a portal. And you see the way that they're lined out, so I guess it's meant to be. Um, you know, it was a line of four of them, so I guess they're meant to be fired down a channel as opposed to across a channel with a uh, um because it'd be interesting to see if they all land on the water if there's not water there you understand what i mean like yeah if, like if they where they would land if they were firing across uh, perpendicular to a channel well i'm not going to find another target so let's go back to the slides here okay All right, let's move ahead. All right, the oh, first man. abomination upgrade um, takes about eight days to upgrade. Um, two hundred, uh, um, two hundred kits um, adds ballistic deflection of two point five million. Um, it's still 
as I recall, uh, still weak in um, ballistic relative to some other halls. Relative to, yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, the base combat speed has doubled, so it becomes a little, a little, quite a bit faster. And it, it, ignores, it does not mean it's twice as fast, though, does it? Uh, well, you have the. I don't know how it gets calculated in. I mean, if it was like, if it, I think it's what it starts at thirty-eight. No, what does it start at? Um, I don't know. Conquest yard. Oh, conquer abomination. Yeah, it's so the, okay. I already double. Well, come close to double it. The abomination starts at seventeen. So then, if the base goes up to thirty-four, it seems like if it's done right at that point, it seems like any additions after that should thirty-four plus a hundred percent would get it. I don't know. I haven't worked out all the math on that one, but uh, yeah. Anyway, it makes it faster. Yeah, it's, um, it's it's not gonna, it's yeah it's not going to biggest weakness reduces its biggest weakness. Yeah. And it's one hundred percent immune to all effects from the hibernation mine, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, eight days is a really long upgrade, so I'd hope it would work. <laughs> I don't want to spend forty days to upgrade my fleet and yeah. however many millions of bounty points to get this stuff. So are they pushing you towards the? Uh, um, what's it already has negative twenty percent? Are they pushing? Do people make a evade abominations? Even with a negative know. twenty evade uh, bonus or buff, I don't debuff. Know. Okay. All anyway. right. Let's see. What's the All turret right. look like? All right. This is the way. Okay. <clears throat> I wish they would eliminate some of this. You know, as we've gone through before, um, the big thing is power. Cons one of the big things is power consumed is one hundred and seventeen thousand. That's about a, a little over, it's a 56% um, boost over the, the tier 10 as far as the ask for power. Um, the range of the, uh, the range of it is 100 to 350 with a firing angle of uh, 8%. Um, reload time of 10, telegraph reload of 1. I would pretty much get rid of the rest of it besides projectile speed. The rest of it is the way I've read it and the way I understand it. The actual depth charge itself doesn't do any damage itself. It's the MERVs that come off of it. And then the submerged damage of two point five that doesn't matter. Um, none of the so damage. The MERVs, the MERVs do 2.5 million each or, or each, a, quarter, each. a quarter of that each? Huh. They do each. Okay. So, yeah, all that stuff up there shouldn't make any sense. I mean, shouldn't shouldn't be there. And it says, I don't know. This is this minus four hundred k or minus four million. I think it's four million. It looks like six zeros, right? I I asked for commas in here. I I I, I was I was the yeah it's four million. But does yeah, it take every second or every point two seconds? Because that's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how long did it last for? I think well, I was told six, six seconds, seconds is what we've been told, but and that's but sort that of what it on the stat like. block. Yeah, it should definitely be on the stat block. And so the range of those dark spots is twenty two. Splash should not be in there. Um it leaves, so that, yeah, at least like a DOT field, so e, well yeah. yeah, and so the actual damage uh, is minor. I, or if it even occurs. If you you know, because the way that thing fired, it didn't really seem like it was wasn't really aiming at the ship. So it would just be sort of random if it hit it, because it was creating these four fields, boom, 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 boom. And maybe if they hit it, it matters. It seems like this uh, this uh, uh, damage emitter is much more of the uh, the issue than. Uh, um, the actual raw damage, and would yeah, this so don't, aura don't be stop. would this aura be increased by specials? Probably Good not. Question. Probably. Probably not. I would think. <laughs> well, I mean, those auras sitting on the water aren't really connected to the weapon. So if you do, you know, if you 
put a damage boost, I'm assuming that's not really impacting it. Yeah, I just wish there was more uh, and less. You know, it seems like they have this, the space in the stat blocks, but just too much junk in there. Um, it seems, but it seems like the space is there to get a better explanation of what's going on. Yeah. And we don't even know how strong it is. It looks, I mean, really strong. And it's, it would make sense to have a really powerful turret in a very small fire arc to me. So it's like kind of niche. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, you know, and um, half centaur space, that seemed to be a, you know, a fairly good, one of the good ways to set it up. Yep. And it also yeah. seems to discourage people from. Um, uh, trailing out their ships because mm -hmm. now they're going to have to run through all four of them if they have their ships trailed out. If they're running them stacked, they're not, you know, I don't know, we'll have to see more of this, that maybe they're only going to run through the last one. They're only going to run through the last uh, um, damage emitter aura. Yeah. Yep. So. And I mean, this turret's really power hungry. I don't even think I can fit it on my level turrets unless I finish this TLC. Even then, my base power might be over in, unless I go scrap some other turrets or I um, upgrade some warehouses or something. So I don't even know if I can use this if I can get it. So interesting. Okay. But, well, yep. Speaking of getting it, that's. Uh, prices yep 25k you can get three of them uh, i guess skin and then you got the kits uh we just described earlier or shown earlier it's 200 kits and eight days to upgrade your abomination um um you start to get some value um it costs less at uh abomination upgrade kit three um you are saving some uh you're, you're making, you're getting um, what about a twenty percent savings? So as opposed That's to a trickle down economics, <laughs> yes, or economies of scale, one or the other, or you know bulk purchasing. Or, so, uh, so uh, yeah, not too much in the limited store. Um, I haven't gone into the other store. There is uh, uh, one more slide. There is an equally confusing uh, stat block associated with the portal. Uh, the one on the left is the Reaver fire, Firewall. Um, I've compared it to the Bastion Seawall 2, which I think most people are using. Um, the uh, power consumed is more than you can use on your, well, unless you just upgraded, I forget which portal number, but unless you spent a fair amount of coins, so you can get 20 days. Uh, to get to the river firewall as far as the power consumption, um, you get a 50% uh, increase in armor points. Um, a little bit of back and forth as far as the deflection. Some are higher, some are lower. Um, the first part of the tactical module, I don't understand at all uh, until we get to yeah, the Yeah, why, why is my portal doing remote targeting? I mean, is there a weapon on it? There's uh, a weapon on it that does it, one damage. Yeah, one damage and has a reload but time it, of it's 10. it's a fire field. Well, then there's, well, then I understand on the bottom death aura. The, the yeah. lava grudge on death aura, that's a separate line. So I understand that as a range no, of 35. I, mean, I think it's got a, when you kill it, it spits out a projectile that does one damage that also leaves an aura behind. That's what this reads to me. Okay, I'm, I'm, I was just wondering if you came within 35 of the, the it firewall, says on death, right? Oh, on death or okay, okay. So it would fire it right at you. For was that five million or fifty million? Well, that, I I don't know if it would. It, I'll bet you the, it five reads million, like it fires million. right at you, but it might just spawn on the dead portal spot. I don't know. Yeah, but and yeah. It, how so, long does it last? I don't know. And is this even going to change? Oh, oh, duration of six seconds. Okay, so the duration of six seconds is there, so maybe it's similar to the other thing, but it's 
that should be down below the lava grudge on death aura. I mean, I don't know. There needs to be a like a grammar for these things to uh, so people could understand them a little bit better. Yep. Yep. Because um, oh, there's yeah, a range I mean, of a hundred in one place and a range of thirty five elsewhere. Um. Yeah. Why does it have two different ranges? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so I miss, yeah, it's, there's too much in here, but also not enough. It just seems like they could call certain lines and then add in new lines that are more, um, that are more informative. So I think that's the last slide. Um, is there anything that you, you can think that we should be uh, doing at this point? That's uh, all I had. Okay. I'm going to post the link on the right-hand side in case anybody wants to join um, that wants to talk about whatever. Um, but, yeah, at this point, I don't really, uh, you know, it's one of those bounty weeks. And um, I don't know. Not my favorite show of the week. <laughs> yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, uh, <clears throat> well, if nobody's planning to join, I guess we can see you on Friday. Um, I don't know. Are you going to have your uh, your lionfish? Are you going to be here this Friday, or is it that? Is that no, start? probably not. Okay, not this Friday. Okay. Yeah. If anybody wants to, uh, hopefully, get somebody on on Friday that's going to. Uh, you know, if we can break even two hours on a mastery round, I think that would be interesting for people to see as far as the base force goes. Um, um, I'm assuming in order to do that, you would need to have uh, somewhere between three to five Bunker Buster Fives and the Voracious Lionfish built and ranked it would be my assumption in order to get that done because people are getting that done. Um, I haven't done it. Um, but um, on reputable sources, that it is it is possible. So, I don't know. One hour? I don't, I don't believe it. Um. Well, I, I'm just shooting for less than two hours. So it was like it was like an hour and twenty minutes. What I was seeing. So. Yeah. All right. Well. See you later. All righty, everybody. We will see you on Friday, and. Uh, Best of luck in Bounty, and uh, hopefully maybe we'll have more for you on Base Force uh, um, moving forward. So, all right. Take care, everybody.